This is um Big Dog Sporting over here, and um we're back with part two of our Trick Flow Track Heat um, GT40 ported GT40 comparison. Um, in a previous video, we did the Trick Flow Track Heat um, flow comparison on the num number five runner um, that was actually plugged up, and um, that number five runner flowed in at about yeah 274 cfm so um we have a customer's um um lower that we're getting ready to ship out and um we're getting ready to flow it to see what its number five runner does as you see we have the radius um, we had a radius for the track heat also um, the track heat number five had a plug on it right here and uh, we have the number five on the uh, ported GT40 um, that was also plugged up. Um, so we're going to flow it on the same bench. You see the calibration is zero. So we're going to turn on the vacuum source and see what this bad boy does. We're right at about 302 CFM, number five runner. Blocked off. Three hundred and about 301, 302 CFM. I'm gonna put my hand over the runner and see what happens. Oh. See my hand over the runner. You see it drop down, so it's measuring accurately. And it's back up. It's back up. So we're at about 301, 302 CFM. With this Explore GT40 lower. Now, this is a direct comparison to a Trick Flow track heat. Same runner, same test conditions, same flow bench. And you see the difference. So, it comes down to, you know, we're offering you guys ported parts, whether it be factory parts or aftermarket, at an extremely reasonable price. You can get this stage two or stage three ported GT40 manifold. It's going to outflow pretty much any out the box manifold in this class, hands down. Um, you've seen it right now. And it's going to be half the cost of a brand new out the box aftermarket manifold. It's going to bolt on like the factory piece because it is a factory piece. It's going to be stealth. It's actually lighter. Um, you can see the cast on this trick flow is extremely thick. It's good for porting, but you can only get so much. Um, the GT40 is lighter. So that, I mean, if you guys, you know, want to say weight, it's lighter. Um, it's stealthier. You know, you open your hood if you got a built motor. And, you know, the first thing people see is, oh, they got to explore. And they don't know you have an explorer that's flowing more than a RPM2 or a track heat, you know, a Victor EFI. And like I said before, the measured runners on the GT40, the Explorer, is a quarter of an inch shorter than a track heat. So you're going to pull up to, you know, 6,500. And if your, your drive train and cam is up to spec or cylinder hitch, you can pull higher than that. It, it has the airflow and demand. You know, I mean, it has over 300 CFM. The number five runner by itself, which was one of the dog legs, it's flowing over 300 on the lower. And the uppers, you know, we get those to flow 290, 300 on the stage twos and the stage three, they're flowing over 320 CFM. So that's more than, you know, any out the box 
EFI Model Foley's class. Hands down. So it is what it is, you guys. Um, be smart. Save money. A lot of people may test, you know, these manifolds, the GT40s and on motors and say, oh, it only produced this. They're testing stock or mildly ported GT40 manifolds. They're not testing manifolds as ported by us. We've tested them. They produce the power. They produce the RPM. So, save money, make more power. Come on over here to Big Dog's Port. We'll get you straight. See the track.